Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We from Group 2 would like to share about our mini research entitled The Impact of Violence Movie Towards Teenagers' Behavior Research on USIM Students. This research was divided into five major chapters. We like to tell you about our first chapter. Nowadays, media has become one of the most important aspects of our life. According to Ma'akib, Yahya and Wu in their study, people are more attracted to watch media that have elements of violence and brutality compared to other genres. By watching a violent movie, may increase aggression in the immediate situation just in a single time and may lead to a general increase in aggressiveness over time. Thus, various forms of media violence may lead to potential harm to our society. Next, we move to problem statement. Media play a vital part to shape the citizens, particularly in the youthful era. Most children around the world seem to spend most of their times with the media and easily assess a high proportion of violent content. Majority of parents believe that their children watch movies and television shows for entertainment. However, they are unaware that many scenes convey hidden violent messages. Exposures to violence in the media not only lead to negative effects on youth, but are positively correlated with aggressive beliefs and behaviors. Another previous study shows that adolescents who preferred violent movies were significantly more supportive of the attitude that aggression is acceptable than those who preferred movies with little or no violence. Based on the previous study, it is considered worldwide to conduct a study related to teenagers' behavior towards violence movie. Our primary objective to conduct this research are first, to identify the linkage between violent or aggressive movies and teenagers' aggressive behavior. Second, to find out which gender will be more aggressive when both males and females had viewed either an aggressive movies or a non-aggressive movie. Third, to compare differences in attitudes between those who are heavy viewers and those who are light viewers. Next, we go through the literature review to figure out what has been researched previously from different scholars related to the present study. Iman Mosharafa state in Global Journal of Human Social Science in 2015 Cultivation theory proposes that the danger of television lies in its ability to shape people's moral values and general beliefs about the world, so that it tackles the long-term effects on the viewers. The findings support the idea that social change can be influenced by long-term television exposure, and cumulative exposure to television assimilates worldview and the development of image and ideas that match what is seen on television. Moreover, L. R. Husman and L. D. Taylor in 2006 found that television news violence has also contributed to the rise of violence, especially in the form of simulated suicides and aggression. Video games can clearly increase aggression and violence in the short term, although no long-term longitudinal studies capable have been conducted in demonstrating long-term effects. The Arsahu of International Journal of Multidisciplinary Research and Technology in 2019 acknowledged that more than half of respondents reported that media makes an impact on their behaviour. The main reasons for violence behaviour among youth 
are drug abuse or addiction, political influence, student politics, media violence, and disintegration of families. Mat Saleh, Muhammad Nizam Osman, and Zohir Sabakpur Azarian in 2009 proved that their study indicates a positive association between movie violence and aggressive attitudes based on their finding from a survey for 216 adolescent boys aged 13 to 17. The results show many adolescent boys are heavily exposed to movie violence and the adolescents with violent movies prefer more supportive of the attitude that aggression is acceptable and warranted than those who prefer movies with little or no violence. They found that some of the participants respond that aggression is legitimate, acceptable, and brings power and status. This result suggests that those who watch violent movies believe that violent problem solving is acceptable and necessary, and they have more tendencies toward aggressive attitudes and use aggression as a problem solving way. Next, we go through to the methodology. In this research, we had chosen a quantitative approach and questionnaire method to collect and analyze data from students. Moreover, the study used a survey research design method that involved 55 respondents from USIM students. For the questionnaire method, we utilize through Google Form that is divided into three sections which are the demographic of the respondents and the frequency of students watching violent movies. Second, the factors that influence teenagers to watch violent movies. And the last one is the impact of violent movies on teenagers' behavior. We distribute a set of questionnaires to using students as a study respondents to obtain relevant information about the factors that influence teenagers to watch violent movies and its impact on their life. Chapter 4 Finding Data collected from 55 students of USIM as respondents. We use SPSS to make data analysis and findings are discussed according to the questionnaire. There are three sections. Firstly, Section A, Demographic. For question number one, Gender, female should higher than male, which is 47 respondents, 85.5%, and male is 8 respondents, which is 14.5%. For question number five, Frequency of watching violence movie per month. The most answer is 1 to 3 times, which is 37 respondents, 67.3%. Section B, the factor of teenagers watching violence movies. Question number 3, I enjoy watching people getting beaten up in the movies. It shows that 19 respondents strongly disagree, which is 34.5%. And the question number five, I enjoy seeing a dead body in the movies. It showed that 22 respondents strongly disagree, which is 40%. Table nine showed the combat of far, and the table 10 showed the reliability statistic is 0.798. Section C, the impact of violence movies toward teenagers' behavior. The question number two, watching violent movies can affect aggressive attitude. It showed that 24 respondents agree, which is 43.6%. And the question number six, watching violent movies can lead to fear and anxiety. It showed that 27 respondents agree which is 49.1%. Table 18 shows the crowbar alpha for section C and the reliability static is 0.892. Lastly, the t-tests are conducted to compare the attitude toward violence movie on gender conditions and it shows that no significant difference. 
the table 20 shows that the T is 1.743 and P is 0 0.87 and the T test uh, was conducted to determine difference in attitude toward violence between heavy and light viewers and it shows that no significant difference to which is the T is negative 1.756 and the P is 0 0.85 That's all for the finding Now we move to discussion Based on the findings, the result of the study show that watching violence movies can affect aggressive attitudes has the lowest combat alpha This result indicate that violent movies often prone to be misunderstood as the causes Hence, we need to see how the audience react to and accept the violent movies Next, both male and female viewers do not really have tendencies toward aggressive attitude. From this point show that gender did not have influence on media violence on aggression among respondents. According to Kepner, he confirmed that heavy television viewers responded with more aggressive attitudes than light viewers. However, the result revealed that there are no significant differences in attitude towards aggressive attitude among heavy and light viewers. So, it must be emphasized that there were no causal relationships found between violent movies and violent behavior, just correlations and this could mean there are other things in life that may be involved. Then, the conclusion. From this research, we can conclude that the impact of a violent movie on teenagers' behavior is viewed negatively, especially in this age of advanced technology. Hence, violent behavior is linked to viewing violent behaviors on television or in movies. Violence in the media harms teenagers and is related to violent talk and behaviors. Next, the research findings show a general tendency that most of the respondents from using students agree that watching violent movies will have a negative impact and can affect students. Generally, the objective of the current study are to find out which gender will be more aggressive at the males or females and the result of the study show that there was not significant difference in the score for male and female conditions. Lastly, there is no significant for the result of differences in attitude between those who are heavy viewers and light viewers. That's all. Thank you.